In this video, I will show you how to reset the preferences in Cinema 4D. You may be asking yourself two questions. First, what are the preferences? Second, why do I need to reset them? The preferences are some set of files that dictate how Cinema 4D works. And you do need to reset them every now and then in order to put Cinema 4D back on track. What do I mean by that? As you work in Cinema 4D, along the way, you'll find yourself tweaking the preferences, sometimes on purpose, sometimes inadvertently. And there will be a point where you want to take all the preferences back to their initial states when you first installed the application. This is when resetting the preferences can become really handy. Let me show you how it's done. In order to first see the preferences, we need to go to the Edit menu here. And then right towards the bottom is an option that says Preferences. The shortcut is Command E. Let me just go and click on this, which will bring up the Preferences menu here. And in order to reset the preferences, you come right to the bottom of this panel, and there's a button here that says Open Preferences Folder. You click on this, which will take you into the specific folder on your computer that contains the Preferences files. All the Preferences files are in here, in the Prefs folder. And all you need to do is to go and trash this entire folder by right-clicking on it and moving it to the trash. And then you can quit this, and then you can quit the Preferences. And next time you start Cinema 4D, it will recreate the Preferences folder automatically, so that it looks and behaves exactly the way it did when you first installed the application. While we are on the topic of preferences, let me show you one preference that I'm going to turn off actually right now. You may be seeing all these areas that are highlighted yellow. This is also a feature or a preference which you can turn off. These yellow areas basically highlight the new features in this current version. For example, they've updated this camera. So as I click on this camera, you can see on the camera that gets created in the Objects Manager, and in the Attribute Manager, there's this spherical option, which is yellow, which means this has been added or updated recently. And as I keep clicking on the same button, you see the color will gradually fade away. And eventually, if I keep clicking again and again, eventually it will turn itself off because it will know that I've used this enough. So hopefully I now know what this spherical button does. Now, let me go and delete all these cameras first by selecting them all by clicking and dragging and then pressing delete on the keyboard. And then I'm going to go to my preferences and then this is the option that I'm going to turn off where it says highlight features. I'm going to click and turn this off so that the yellow highlights disappear. Then I'm going to come out of this. So from now on, it's not going to show me any of those highlights.